as I was swimming, just suddenly found myself looking down at myself from very high up and looking down at the back. Now, the, the sensation on this was like being having two sets of eyes and one brain and being in two places at once. It's the only way I can describe it. Because I was, the part of me that was down swimming is going, what's going on here? How can, what's, what's happening? How can, this, how can I be doing it? How can I be seeing myself? Were all the things going through my mind while I'm, while I'm watching myself, okay? So, I'm thinking to myself, this can't be happening, okay? And as soon as I thought, this can't be happening, this part of me that was up high looking down came down very close, about two and a half, three feet off my left shoulder, and I'm looking right down at the back of me. And I'm looking at myself close up now. And then I felt like my brain went off like a firework. I mean, I, I felt like... Um, there was like this, not a flash of light, but like a, a flash of insight. And everything in the entire universe made absolute sense. I mean, it was just, it was so, it's in such perfection of balance, okay? Um, and I realized that. I realized how perfectly balanced everything is. Um, and yet, and yet, unbelievably dynamic, okay? So like all this stuff comes in and I'm, and... Everything, everything makes sense, okay? And then af after that piece of it, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still traveling now. This is, I've never stopped traveling. There's never been a pause in this, okay? This is just like happening. Um, I get to, um, after, like this insight, okay? And it's almost as if I had like looked over my shoulder like this, like I'm still going like this, I looked over my shoulder, and, and there was... In this whole big black, or like a pinpoint, okay, of light. It felt so protected and so loved and so, um, you know, that, that no self-consciousness at all about yourself. It was just, it was, it was like, uh, it was like being in the perfect place for yourself um, that I find useful for me at least uh, in terms of this. There's a, a much more, um, I mean everything is, everything is, is divine. It's all, I mean that's, one, that's the thing that I got from this one piece of it where everything fit together. Um, there, isn't any, there isn't anything, any living thing uh, that, is, that isn't part and connected to everything else. Um, and although there is there, throughout this whole thing. There was I always had a sense that there was a, that there was a, a power that was that was much beyond anything that I could comprehend. In other words, it wasn't like um, I'm God, you're God, he's God, everybody else is God. You know, everything that's going on is God. It was it really was that there was a power um, in in which there was this perfect love, and in, in which all this creation. Um, was energized by, and so that so that there was there was there's a there's a God. I mean, there's... so how did you feel? Um, well, I, it when I came back from my own, from my experience, it was uh, I was relatively young when it happened to me, and it became uh, a good excuse for party. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear what happened to him? So let's have a party <laughs> and find out all about him. Um, and I didn't, I didn't believe that I had the experience for ten years. I mean, I, I was skeptical about the fact that it had happened to me. Mm -hmm. I was, there was always some alternative that would, that would explain it, as, as Alan was saying, and, and help me make sense of it. But it never, it never left me. Now, my wife still argues with me that. Um, it's always got to be my way. I mean, I think, you know, it's not like uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, you come back from these things and you're a saint and, uh, you know, you're like a Mother Teresa and you've got, you know, all this... I mean, I'm still, you know, have a, a temper um, and I still think I'm right 
and all that kind of stuff. 